Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and like usual, I'm just gonna play the intro clip. Anyway, first of all, um, sorry for the low quality voice or whatever you're going to be having right now. I know my screen probably looks a bit weird right now. Um, my laptop's power box or whatever um, died, so I'm, I'm using a different laptop right now. I just plugged in the hard drive of my old laptop. Anyway, um, today is going to be more of a sales pitch sort of th type thing. I'm going to be selling the source code or the rights to use my image recognition library. Probably sell it for like 20, 30 bucks or something stupid like that. So I'm just going to open it up here. Anyway, um, if you've been on my blog lately, you'll notice that I have created um, a Galaxy Online 2 bot. Um, this is using some of my image recon. This is using my image recognition library. Um, if you've seen the source code of it, um, you'll see that it's pretty simple. The usage for the library, anyway. So why do you want to use my image recognition library? Well, it's a lot more efficient than what you're going to find out, or you're going to find on uh, .NET. Um, it's also a great learning experience. You'll have the source code, so you can, um, you know, make it more efficient if you really want. I can think of like two or three ways to making it better right off the bat, but you know, those uh, methods would. Um, reduce uh, the accuracy of it, but would greatly like double or even triple the speed, or actually like you know reduce the speed by two hundred percent or something stupid. And uh, yeah, so this laptop here is a lot slower than my other one, so unfortunately, it's going to take a bit longer to load. I'm just going to pause this. Alright, anyway, now that um, that's done... Oh, wait. Okay, so hopefully it's done loading now. I'm just going to move up to the point where um, I have the bot usage or the bot stuff. Ah. So here's the usage. Um, you can use the using statements or whatever you want. Um, I recommend you use the using statement to prevent memory leaks, right? Um, I use, it uses unmanaged memory or unmanaged code in the library, so you should use the using statements just to be on the safe side. Um, yeah. So, uh, how do you use it? You pretty much self-explanatory. You say new HN image finder. Then here you put in the bitmap of the image that you want to search, right? And you can put in the, I believe it's the variance. Yeah, so the variance is the color variance. And the min percentage is the percentage that you want to match. I suggest you don't go above 10 or 15 with your variance, your color variance, and your min percentage. I suggest you don't go below 85 or 90 percent. Otherwise, it will, you know, greatly increase the time that it takes to find the image. Okay, so um, right, so it's pretty simple. All you got to do is um, you can just show you some usage here so you can go finder right this is the object and you can set the min percentage and the variance right if you don't like the default ones that you set earlier on and then to find the image you'd use find um, image right 
and I've also included, if you wanted to play around with it, um, a couple of uh, ways to modify the image if it's having trouble with it, right? So you can add uh, color, right? Add contrast, um, make the image black and white, create thumbs, um, crop the image, and so on. So I'm just going to open up uh, this function here, I just called it click image, so function or click. here we are, oops, so here's the actual usage of it, um, okay I remember why I have the vote. Um, the invoke here is because the web handle is from the first page, I mean um, from the f main thread, so whatever, anyway. Um, all you gotta do is... Oh, god. I have another function here. Um, here we are. So this is where it all does all of the finding and stuff. What it does is you go finder dot find image. You put in the image you want to find. Um, I don't know what else I have here. Um, and here is x skip and y skip. So um, actually, I guess I already put in that thing that to make it more efficient. So if you want, you can skip um, certain pixels, like you can check only every fifth pixel or every fourth pixel or whatever. Um, again, like I said, it's going to reduce the quality and um, the X is for the X axis and the Y is for the Y axis, axis right? Um, then you get the results in an array. If you want, you can change the results to be a di bit differently or whatever. <coughs> but um, in this case I believe I use the first result that's found right so that's pretty much it to the library um, right you got a whole bunch of junk here and whatever so anyway this is hot noob come check out my blog um, you guys have probably seen this in action and um, the whole missing image thing or it being unable to find an image is actually just um, a result of your flash having a variance in it. But for the most part this uh, library works pretty well, works on most things. Um, so come check out my blog if you're interested in getting the source code and the rights to use the, the image recognition library. Just uh, make a comment and we'll talk.